everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about lip sync again because it's fun and I like it. This is a video that is part of a kind of multiple video series. So if you haven't already, go watch the others. They'll be into the description below. And um, yeah, so make sure that you check at least this video first because it talks about decoding and that's what we did last time and it's very important. You cannot do a good lip sync exercise if you're just learning without decoding your sound first. So go do that. Once your timesheet is decoded, once your sound is decoded, should I say, you can now start to draw. But you're not gonna draw the mouth yet, no, no, no. <laughs> Before doing the lip sync, there's a few things you need to do. So first, you'll need to do the thumbnails. Then, you will have to do the key poses. Then you will need to do your rough animation. Or action pass, as some people call it. Then you're gonna do your acting face. So you're gonna still do your rough. But it's gonna be the acting. You know, where you add like the face and the expressions and details and stuff. And then once you're done, you can start to do your lip sync. And of course, these are just recommendations. Sometimes there's more or less steps. It depends on the style of what you're doing. But yeah, so in the key poses, you can include like a few mouth, but just like to give an idea of what this is gonna be. Like what the, what the mouth is gonna be like, but you don't focus on exactly the words or anything that they're saying. Okay, so you really start to do your lip sync um, at the end. I'm sorry, like it's my favorite thing, but like unless you have a style that calls for it, usually you, you do it at the end. And the takeaway for this is that lip sync is more than just a mouth. It is the whole character expressing. Oh, what do we say to the god of death, Aaron? So if I show you my scene here, even if I remove the mouth and the eyes, you can still feel what the character is expressing. The grave situation. Oh, come on. What are you, Ross, all of a sudden? <laughs> because lip sync is more than just the mouth. Okay? So, like I said, you do your thumbnails, then you do your key poses, your rough animation for acting and expressions, and then you can start to do the lip sync. And when it comes to lip sync of the mouth, we recommend always doing it on one or two frames in advance so that your eyes have time to read the mouth before the sound comes in. I know this doesn't make sense, but that's how the body works, right? Your eyes need to see the mouth before the sound appears. Not too much, just like one two frames at the very most. So if you look at your scene and it feels a bit off, try to put all your mouth a bit before. <laughs> it can be helpful. This is because, remember, animation is an illusion and we are tricking the brain into thinking stuff moves. And sometimes the eyes likes to know in advance. <laughs> um, we really recommend to avoid animating the mouth always on twos. Even if your animation is on twos, sometimes you can keep the same mouth shape for more than two drawings or have a mouth shape that is not that much different from one drawing to the other. This is to let your dialogue breathe. Here's the delicious, nostalgic sound of the plastic peeling off the cheese right now. We don't want no machine gun mouth, right? So here, if you look at the timing of my ghost's uh, mouth, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You see that sometimes it's on threes, sometimes it's on twos, on threes, twos, sometimes I have four and ones. Um, this is to give variety to your lip sync. Here I have the luxury of having a very limited style, so the poses are not very fluid into their animations. It's, it's a lot of static poses with a very expressive lip sync. That's just a style that I use to be able to do these in like a few days. What do we say to the god of death, Aaron? Not today! Yeah. Even if your animation is on twos and it's very fluid, what you could do is to limit how much of different mouth shape you have every two frames, right? So it's good to have a good rhythm to your lip sync. And what I recommend is try to have a good balance and a good rhythm between like the open mouth, the O shapes, or like the closed shapes. And one good advice I have is you see, if this is a mouth that is closed with the teeth showing, these can be used for many different sounds. Like try for yourself to see how many different sounds you can make with your teeth closed. And sometimes they're the same sounds that you could make with your teeth not closed like that. So sometimes for the same sound, you can have multiple choices of mouth. And this is a luxury <laughs> because then it means that it helps you get the rhythm. Because like I said, it's not so much about the word the characters say, it's about how it looks on screen and the rhythm of the lip sync. And how come they get two super guns and we only have one? Because we have to kill your movable island there. So some mouth that I would say to look for is the mouth with the, you know, the teeth together. Then you have the oo sounds that are very different. Um, and you know, then you have the L sound. This kind of L sound is very important because it gives, then again, contrast and rhythm because for once the tongue moves because usually we don't animate the tongue like doing all the motions. But for like the L sound, sometimes it's a good contrast and a good break into like the usual mouth that you have. So that's another good one to look out for. And then of course the closed mouth shape are very important. Yeah, you didn't tell us how to actually use. Usually I try to avoid having a very thin closed shape near a very wide open one and then another wide open one 
because then it's gonna jump from there to there to there and sometimes if you don't give it enough time or smoothing this mouth will just go unnoticed for it to be the mouth shapes or the uh, number of frames each drawing have the best method is to use an accordion method where you're gonna have some very quick ones and some very slow ones but you don't want to put them one after the other you want to have a ease in and ease out of the smoothness or the shapes of the mouth so yeah exaggerate the sounds avoid having everything as a steady beat have contrast and rhythm into your lip sync and you should be good and with that have a lovely week goodbye oh man i sure could go for some cheese Specifically, craft singles. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the delicious, nostalgic sound of the plastic peeling off the cheese right now. Mmm. That's some good cheese. Just feel that saran wrap.